Thank you for everything. It's been an amazing, amazing, amazing journey. I'm like on the brink of tears right now because to step into that space of gratitude and appreciation and for the unresisted experience of life, the flow of the energy, breaking through the barriers and just being present in every moment. Yeah, feels good. No fear. Alone. Yeah, because fear indicates a diminishment of who you are. Absence of fear means complete connection. Yeah. 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 So I have one question for you. Very specific, very out there, crazy, but not right. So I just moved to Montana and it summoned me and it summoned me. It's a vortex 24 seven. And there's this thing that I want, I want to leave my job and go somewhere else, do something different. And there's this gigantic sign outside my workplace and all the signs are leading to like, this is the direction that you need to go and even possibility of relationship in the vortex and all of this kind of stuff. But there's the, the, the challenge is that I'm always in a state of receptiveness. And so I'm always in the vortex. And so I'm always manifesting synchronicity and I'm always having these wild, crazy experiences where I don't want to be. <laughs> so it's really good. And I've heard you talk about this. So it's really good where I don't want to be, but I'm being pulled over here and I'm like, it could be way better over here. So there's the dilemma of human thought of like, well, it's really good here and you're always manifesting amazing things. So maybe you should stay. Well, here's the thing. You're going to like this because this is what you're reaching for. And as you hear it and you will, a whole lot of things are going to start clicking into place fast for you because you've done the work you've sifted through the data your vortex is ripe it's ready to pop for you on all these fronts you can feel that but here's the distinction that we want you to hear and this is the thing about deliberate creation for a while we called these gatherings the science of deliberate creation science meaning creation is always evolving and changing like science must and deliberate meaning you want to be purposeful about what you think but after a while we gravitated toward calling it the art of allowing instead because people got too heady in the thoughts that they were thinking about being deliberate and so this is the distinction that we want you to hear feel the difference between focusing on a subject like a specific job and the things that you will do or a specific relationship and what that person might be like feel the difference between the details of the manifestations that you can see and hear and smell and taste and touch and the details of the manifestation that you're feeling with your emotions because as a human you're oriented toward seeing and hearing and smelling and tasting and touching so most of you when you are making your lists of what you want you're kind of heavy on that part of it how you want it to look how you want it to be but when you tweak it just a little bit where you start emphasizing the feeling of it in other words the difference between i want to create a hundred thousand dollars this year or two hundred thousand dollars this year or five hundred thousand dollars this year pick a number it doesn't matter i want to create x number of dollars this year that's using your mind in a specific deliberate way and saying I want to feel my utter freedom to be and do and have whatever I choose and so what you're wanting to do is amplify the emotional things that you're looking for the freedom and the clarity and the collaborative nature the harmonics of the workplace the bigness of it the expansiveness of it and as you're thinking in those more vibrational terms rather than in those specific see it hear it smell it taste it touch it terms something will shift within you you'll feel it right away does that make sense to you yes it does and i do feel that here now because the things that you said therefore under those conditions could not happen to you you were describing this is working and this is working and this is working and this is working but i'm doing it all in a place that i don't want to be so what that means is you were trying to manhandle your life with your own powerful mind rather than turning it over to the vortex which will work it all out and you just letting what the vortex has worked out come to you did you feel the difference in that yeah completely 
so when you start calibrating to the feeling of security meaning stable no matter what calibrating your emotion to things always work out for me as you calibrate like that then more and more evidence of that even right where you stand in the current working environment that you're standing things start shifting like that you begin to notice it right away right yeah, and that's been happening. It's that was been... big. We are happy that you were with us on that. And so let's go back and just define that in a strong way. Everything that you're approaching, you can approach it as a subject. In other words, there's a subject of politics and there's a subject of medicine and there's a subject of parenting and there's a subject of schools. We could keep this sentence going for days and days and days, just talking about subjects. But then there's the emotional stance of well-being. There's the emotional stance of freedom. There's the emotional stance of awesomeness and eagerness and friendliness even. Can you feel the difference? When you start reaching for the way, what you want and why you want it, so why you want it. There isn't anything that anybody wants, whether it's a pile of money or a new relationship or a different job or an empire. There isn't anything that anybody wants, ever has or ever will, that is for any other reason than that they believe they will feel better when they're there. So if you start focusing on how you want to feel until you're feeling that way, because you're focusing on feeling that way, things just begin lining up, lining up, lining up. And the thing that's so great about that is that you never get it done. Can't get it wrong reason you can't get it wrong is because it's never done it'll just keep morphing into something else so when you catch this emotional point of attraction spirit of things then what happens you're happy now and you're happy now and you're happy now it's not like I've got that goal of that job and on my way to it I'm feeling pretty frisky and then I've got it yay but now I've got it yay and now I've still got it yay and I still got it yay <laughs> where if you're focused upon expansion and freedom then nothing ever stalls out you see the difference yeah 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 and this is really the biggest point that we're making in all of that you heard it clearly but we're going to make it again just imagine just feel with us all that your vortex was your vortex is that vibrational reality that we're talking about it's what's out ahead of you just pre-manifestation it's all the things that you've aspired to that now as your doubt subsides will start flowing into your experience so it works like this there's this vortex of all that you've asked for and your inner being in essence stands in the midst of all of that not just knowing it but being it knowing it being it and the law of attraction gathering all of the cooperative components so these cooperative components are all gathered and it's there to unfold for you not to just drop splat in your life that wouldn't be any fun to unfold in your life in this continuous never-ending long stream of lovely experiences so here it all is and it's ready for you are you ready for it so you decide you're going to meditate because you are going to be ready for it so every day you meditate you quiet your mind Esther likes to listen to the air conditioner or the sound is there any sound in this room very subtle can you hear it? if she's in a room where there's no sound she has an app that says central air <laughs> you want to focus on something that you have no thought about like Esther never thinks I've heard better <laughs> there's no negative thought about that and sometimes she'll focus and then her mind will wander and then she'll bring herself back and her mind will wander sometimes it takes a little bit to really quiet her mind but once you quiet your mind your vibration rises because there's no resistance holding it down and once you reach the vibrational equivalent of your inner being who has no resistance now what's in that vortex and what your inner being knows about that vortex can be received by you it just sort of wafts into your experience it's where ideas come from and inventions and impulses so the more you're doing that then the more you're finding those impulses flowing into your experience and as those ideas and impulses flow into your experiences and now you're making the clear association between what you already know was in the vortex and having quieted your mind 
and now when this thought comes and you follow that impulse and there's a payoff for it now you've got it now you understand how it all works because your inner being knows where you stand in terms of manifestation in relationship to everything that's in your vortex and here are the key words and your inner being knows your path of least resistance your path what do we mean by that your inner being knows where all your resistant thoughts are and your inner being in your tuned in tapped in turned on state of being will guide you around and over and under all of those resistant thoughts right to what you want it's like Esther lost her gold pen she couldn't find it anywhere she looked and looked and looked she dumped every purse out she looked and looked and looked and looked finally she gave up then two or three months later she was looking for something else in one of her handbags a little bottle of perfume and she reached in the bag where she knew it was and came out with a gold pen she could not find what was lost your inner being knows what you think is lost and in your state of alignment your inner being will guide you through the path of least resistance right to where you want to be and oh what fun it is along the way Whew. enough fantastic this is a really good time for a segment of refreshment Yeah.